Super Unknown 2022 recently just dropped. If you're unfamiliar with this event, Level One, one of the biggest media production companies in the entire ski industry, brings together some of the most talented underground athletes to give them the exposure they deserve. <laughs> Swiss 270 front swap, pretzel 270 out out of that flat to down bar. Look how big that, wow, that is a massive gap and you can see that down bar is over to the right side as well. So he has to pump off that flat bar with enough momentum to get over there, maintain enough balance to get that pretzel 270 out. In other words, it was a really impressive stunt. And the beautiful thing about Super Unknown is the fact it allows you to know the Super Unknown. I swear the number of people I follow on Insta goes up 30,000 after watching one of these. Front swap over, continuing 450 out. Oh, quick feet! That was a gnarly combo front swap, and then he's going to go for a back swap, meaning he's turning his back to the end of the rail, doing the 180 swap, continuing 270 out. Coming out with a massive disaster to the down bar. When you hear somebody say disaster in skiing, all it means is that they clear the entire first section of the rail and then land on the next section or the, the final section of that jib feature. Oh, beautiful back swap continuing 270 out. You can also call that a Britney. 50-50s the entire challenge, Turbo! 50-50s in skiing have got to be one of the hardest jib tricks to master at any point if your groin gives out you're going for a meaty sack right there rubber ducky and this turbo isn't even straight there's a kathunk a kathink and maybe even a little bit of a swerve ski right there but he manages to hold on the entire way <laughs> going for a lazy boy slide down the entire thing manages to pull through sam labinski one of the few skiers that I'm actually well acquainted with here. Oh, I saw this on Insta. Backsliding the entire thing. Is that difficult to do? Yes, it is. Oh, Dakota coming out. Lip 270 onto the challenge turbo. Lip means your tails go over the jib first. It's a lot scarier to do that than a regular 270. Oh, nice little front surface swap into the pretzel too. Alexa, look at that little front surface. So you can do swaps, which require a hop, skip, and a jump, but you can also do front surface swaps or back surface swaps, meaning when you swap, you maintain contact with that jib feature throughout the entire way. Oh, <laughs> buttering up the heads like it's nobody's business. 270 up from the side, manages to lock on and pull it to switch. Understand where his momentum's going. When he pops left 270, he wants to continue spinning to the left. It's the law of thermodynamics. But his skis scissor instantly and he pops it out to switch. It ain't easy to do that. This year's Super Unknown has taken place in Mammoth, one of the top resorts in California, as you can see. Snow conditions are most optimal out here in spring. Double Superman fronty. Mm. Oh yeah, big old seven for the boys in the backyard. A little scream and semen action. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Woo. Oh, off the pole. Did you catch the snipe? Check this out. Plant right there, and you can see he sets perfectly into a double cork 720. Locks in a safety grab as well, which means he's just grabbing underneath his boot. Front flip blunt. Mm. Oh! <coughs> Switch Misty 9 and tweaks out the mute, tweaks out the Weddle grab right in front of him at about 450 there. Love to see. Nice little flat three Japan into pow, not easy to maintain balance. That was recap edit number one. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, oh, his, oh his full lens came out. He hit his face Ooh. so hard that he managed to say sayonara to his goggle lens. I was just about to say this is recap edit two. What an introduction. <laughs> Yeah, we've gotten to the point where we don't even need skis to ski anymore. Look at that, penetrating his ACLs on the rainbow, and he doesn't just slide over it. He actually gets some pressure, some meaty contact with the jib feature there. Trying to go for an armpit slide there, trying to get that 180 out as well. Didn't really work out. Going for some 
inverted. <laughs> Holy nuts! That is what we're only at 25 freaking seconds, man. Like, yo. Terminology is gone, man. Underflip five gets the inverted tail tap underneath the rainbow. Dude, don't call it anything. Just watch and take notes. Yo. Nicola dropping in, going backslide, holding safety grab as well, continuing to somebody out. Fast slide that time. So that's sliding on the front foot and then grabbing safety on his other ski. Sick. The filming, the music choice, the editing, the production, top notch as you would expect from level one. Oh, that was that dumb nose. Oh man, okay, he was going for dumb nose, but he thought, nah, that was too conventional. So he gets a double nose grab on one nose, one nostril. It's like stuffing both your fists and one of your nostrils. Not easy to do, especially when you're doing the back cork sex. I saw the 270 swap to switch 50. Oh, okay, like, I'm not putting on an act here. This is some of the most stylish skiing I've seen in ages. Oh, the ladies are throwing down as well. Massive back surface swap over the rainbow. Ain't easy to balance on something like that. Sam Obinski. Big 180, double nose with one hand, one-handed double nose grab there over the volcano. He just ever so slightly pivots his skis together so he can grab both nostrils with one hand. Perfect landing on it too, didn't even look like he left the ground. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh. Lean coming up into the cannon. Massive backside 810 out of a rail that's two and a quarter rotations. Homemade jib feature has a helmet at the end of the pole there. Going rodeo five tail taps it. So sick. Oh wow. 90, kind of late 270. It was a full 360. Completely dented the dome piece there. Oh. Curling your body, tweaking it all over like you're having an epileptic attack is not easy. No matter how many spins or how few spins you're doing with a pair of twigs. Oh, that was so dirty. Back 270L pulls it to a Misty 5. Oh, he was trying to go switch cork on that one. So instead of a Misty, this is a different axis. You can see he pops his hips out in front of him, pulls his shoulder back to go into that cork axis, but wasn't able to pull it through, unfortunately. Hopefully he was all right. Oh, that is a sick angle. Slapping his thigh on that rainbow. <laughs> Managed to get a full on five after dragging both palms against the tubular there. Oh, super unknown is by far one of the best pieces to ever come out this year. Beautiful grabbing safety, popping it out to switch, taking a heavy tumble. <laughs> oh, nose butter nine. First he goes backslide, meaning he only taps his back ski on the rail. And then he's going to take it to a 450 out. Oh man, that could have been ruthless. Again, it's so difficult to appreciate the sheer size of these features from footage. It's probably about 20, 25 odd feet from the top of the T-bar to the bottom of the cheddar cheese block here. If you were to take a tumble off of that size, that amount of height, you overshot it, undershot it, you shot right onto the T-bar. That is gonna be a really painful fall. And it's really booty, man. So to get enough forward pressure, it can lock right onto a Benjamin coming out and making it look so easy. 180 out. Oh, wow. Does it twice with the 360 out the second time to show us. It wasn't sheer luck. Gaps over it, holds the safety grab, tweaks it out left. Gets a little slide on there too. Oh! <laughs> Huge hand plant one, thought he was gonna pull it to 360, but managed to stop his momentum at 180. Oh, 
Oh, disaster's all the way over and manages to get a front 270 out as well. Oh, the gap is massive. Again, 15, 20 foot odd gap. Manages to balance long enough on the down bar to get a scissor and pop the front two out. Marion coming in, slides the whole thing, no problem. So difficult just to make it to the end of this bar. Got oh, Matt dropping in, pop and switch. Switch 270 disaster, that was massive. Oh, back 450. Oh! oh Sam! Comes in, gets a front swap, and then is going to spin in the opposite direction. So we call that a pretzel. 450 out. Oh! Dumb nines, one of my favorite tricks. Throws it on a really dope axis. You'd call that almost a double underfoot nine with a mute grab really tweaked out. Right side seven, playing around with his twigs at the end of the rotation because he's bored. He has to steeze it up somehow. Oh, what so big! Oh, managing to grab tail there on the right side seven. Perfect. Switched up backy. So close to catching his tips there. He had a little bit of space, but man, that was a heavy throw. Switch bio 10. Matt blasting and switch here. Going huge on a switch. Double cork 1440. Two flips. Four full rotations. Oh, no way. Wow. Alley oop. Alley oop, right side bio 1260. Yeah, there's a lot going on in that trick name, but when you go alley oop, that means you're spinning in the opposite direction that you're carving in. He carves off the jump to the left and he's going to spin to the right. So it's an alley oop bio 1260, three and a half rotations on it. Oh, I love all this so much. What a beautiful jump in the sunset session here. Cork five, he tosses it like a cork three to a late one. Damn, yo! Massive cork three grabbing almost the very tip of that nostril. Love to see a little bit of the side action on it as well. You need to love all parts of that nose. Coming out with the train, Sam's first one to hit, switch five. The landscape in the rear end there. Dude, that was banging. Oh, the production quality was gorgeous. The song choices, the angles, the footage, the features. What you would expect from level one. Again, another awesome edition of Super Unknown for 2022. There's another fourth part here. I'm not going to go over it. So you guys can watch it on your own without my hoots and hollers. Level one, thank you for making this happen. Sick.